held out over thousand dollars and treated yourself with a fancy new iPhone 15 Pro. What are some things you need to do right after setting it up? How to make it truly yours? How to get the most out of your shiny new iPhone? New iPhones, tips, tricks, customization, and some must change settings immediately after unboxing in this video. It's gonna be a really useful video, so let's get started. First, one of the most talked about feature of the iPhone 15 Pro, the action button. It's a customizable button on the side replacing the silent switch where you can set any custom action of your liking. Go to settings, select the action button and pick your most favorite action to be assigned to the action button. You can pick the silent mode, select any focus mode, open camera app in a particular mode, toggle flashlight or many more custom actions. Since my phone is almost always in silent mode, I have mapped it to the camera button to open in video mode directly. Now I just press and hold the action button anytime to open video mode in camera and use the action button to start and stop recording. There is so much more you can do with the action button like turning on your home light, starting a timer, unlocking your car, etc. which I'll cover in a separate video. Next, change and customize battery settings on your iPhone. With iOS 17 and iPhone 15, there are a lot more battery optimization options available to you. Go to settings, battery section, battery health and charging and charging optimization. Here you can see how you want to charge your phone. If your workflow allows, I would recommend setting your charging limit to 80%. Any lithium battery is most stressed and will lose its health the most when it's close to 100 or 0% charge. So it's recommended to keep your phone charged between 20 to 80% for maximizing your battery health. So set it to 80% if you can get through your day without any issues. Second charging tip, you need to discharge your phone completely before charging it again is a myth. That used to be the case before, but with current battery tech, you can charge it as many times as you need in a day and the only thing that will reduce your battery health is keeping your phone close to zero or 100%. You can now even check your battery cycle count in the settings under general and going into the about section. iPhone batteries are designed to retain up to 80% health even after 500 charge cycles. While under the topic of iPhone batteries, go into the battery section again and enable battery percentage to show the battery percentage in the status bar. I like it this way. If the number makes you anxious, you can disable it too. Next, make some important changes to your camera settings. The iPhone 15 Pro comes with a 48 megapixel camera, but by default, it will capture only 24 megapixel photos by binning them. If you want to make the most out of your camera and take 48 megapixel photos, go to settings, camera settings, under the format section, enable Pro RAW and resolution control toggle. Now in the camera app, tap to enable the HEIF Max option before taking a photo. The photo captured now will be 48 megapixels. You paid a lot of money for that 48 megapixel and extra storage. Why not use it? And Another camera feature that you should change right away is the iPhone 15 Pro main lens has three different zoom modes, a default 24mm mode, a 28mm mode and a 35mm mode. This is 1x, 1.2x, 1.5x zoom range. Go and enable these settings right away. Go to settings, camera settings, select main camera and enable both 28 and 35mm modes. You can also set the default focal length below. Now you can tap on the 1x button while taking a photo to use additional zoom ranges. I also like to set my default focal length to 35mm in the settings. That is because almost everyone takes their photo in 1x mode. So you can immediately tell it's an iPhone photo. Setting it to 35mm will give your photo a different perspective and will make it stand out. Try it out and see. If not, you can always change back. With iOS 17, iPhone camera app comes with a level. Enable this in the camera settings here. Now when taking a picture, your iPhone will show the level to get these perfect level photos. This works both in portrait and landscape mode. The iPhone 15 Pro has another Pro-level feature of recording in ProRes Log format. Just like capturing in MP4, ProRes Log is a video codec which will capture a lot more information while recording a video. You will have to post-process those videos, which I will make a separate video to show how to do it. But if you think you need to capture the most information from a video, take the video in ProRes Log mode. To enable this mode, go to Settings, Camera Settings, Format section and enable Apple ProRes. Now in ProRes Encoding, select Log. Now while capturing videos in the camera app, you can enable ProRes Log. Remember, this is a high quality video capture, so it will take a lot of space on your iPhone. Luckily, you can insert an external disk through USB-C port to record these ProRes Log videos externally to the hard disk. 
Next up, make these changes to customize your iPhone to make it truly yours. You can set live wallpapers on iPhone 15 Pro. Just select any live photo on your phone and set it as wallpaper by tapping on to share button. You will see this option at the bottom to set it as live wallpaper. Now every time you wake your phone up, you will see this beautiful animated wallpaper coming to life. Even the default iPhone 15 Pro wallpapers are animated wallpapers. Even if you are picking a static wallpaper, there are so many customizable options now. For example, if you pick a portrait photo as a wallpaper, you can select between multiple styles, choose accent colors, resize the image, etc. Try it out and make it as personalized as you want. You should also customize your lock screen beyond just wallpapers. On iOS 17, you can customize your lock screen even more. Long press on your lock screen and select customize. Change the clock style, font, width, color and more. Add your favorite widget to your lock screen. My favorites are the weather, battery and activity widget. They give glanceable information right from your lock screen. Speaking of widgets, you should add widgets, especially interactive widgets to your home screen. With iOS 17, home screen widgets are dynamic and can be interacted directly. I use them to control my smart home, mark my reminders, complete, play, pause, music, etc. You can do that by long pressing anywhere on your home screen. Tap the plus icon and pick your favorite widget. Last tip of customizing your iPhone, you should set your contact posters in the contact app. This is the photo and information that your contacts will see when you call or text them. You can create one for yours by going into the contact and selecting your contact card. Click here and tap edit. Now create your own personalized contact card with photos, fonts, photographic styles and more. You can even keep it simple with just a memoji or a monogram. All your contacts will see this contact poster on their phone against your contact. Okay, once you have customized your iPhone to your liking, make the best use of the standby mode. The standby mode on iPhone 15 Pro is this minimalistic always on mode when you put your phone to charge in landscape mode. There are three different sections, a widget section, a photo section and a clock section. You can pick one or the other by simply swiping between them. You can customize each section to your liking by picking your favorite widgets, picking your favorite album to loop through and picking your favorite clock style. With the always on display on the iPhone 15 Pro, the standby mode will be always on and it's like your own control center slash photo album right on your desk. I use it all the time. My favorite iPhone feature so far. You might be already aware of the USB-C port on your iPhone 15 Pro. It can do a lot more than just charging. We already saw that you can connect an external hard drive to record videos directly using the USB-C port. But there is more. If you have another iPhone or an accessory, you can share power from your iPhone by simply plugging the charging cable between your iPhone and the other phone or accessories through the USB-C port. I use it to charge my Lightning AirPods Pro, sometimes even my mouse. Next, go to settings, select sounds and haptics. You can see the show in status bar is enabled by default. With this enabled, the silent mode icon is always visible in the status bar. Disable the toggle to remove it from the status bar. My phone is always on silent mode and this is cluttering my iPhone display. If you feel yours is too, disable the setting to clear up your status bar. Okay, we are almost done. One final but important step. Update your phone software as soon as you set up your iPhone. Apple released some important bug fixes to fix your phone overheating issue and security issues. So it's important to update it quickly to keep your phone running smooth. Do this by going into the settings, general and software update. If there are any new updates available, update it as soon as possible. That's it. Start enjoying your new iPhone. I'll keep adding more tips and tricks in future videos. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.